Yeah. Hey, Shanna, this is Dustin Hensley. And I'm just getting back with you about a letter that you sent in to our office regarding mortgage protection coverage. That's the, the program that would pay off your home loan in the event of a death or disability. Yeah, I remember. Okay, well, Shanna, I just need to verify a little bit of your information so that we can get these options. I'm right I'm right now, you. that's just not an option for us, sorry. That's just... Okay. Um, so what, what do you mean by that? Well, I just not, that's an extra expense for the month. And right now I'm just not in the position to do that right now. So, okay. Okay. And so Shanna, do you have something in place that if something were to happen to I have, you, your home I mean, would be okay? Well, I mean, I have a job. Okay. <laughs> so. right. um, okay. And, and if you were to, if you were to pass away or become disabled, would, would your family be able to make the mortgage payments and stay in the home? Um, I don't know, but, but really right now, I, I just, I just don't had, I'm not in the means at this time for an extra expense. So, okay. Okay. Well, I, just so you know, Shanna, uh, we do have options that are very affordable. In fact, I've never seen a time that I couldn't find something that was, that didn't fit in someone's budget. And in the very least it would cover, you know, a, a short term, you know, maybe something like, a. A, like a temporary solution that then could be upgraded or, or changed altogether down the road. Okay. Okay. What's your lowest? What what would that be look like? Because. Yeah. Well, I you know I've seen it range anywhere from twelve to fifteen dollars, uh, up to you know twenty five or thirty five dollars, depending on what you need and 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 a number of you know a number of things. It takes me just a couple mm -hmm. seconds to verify your information now. I've got your date of birth, January 11, 1974. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And are you a smoker or a non-smoker? Uh, non. Okay. All right, good. Five stars for that good decision. <laughs> <laughs> and I have, uh, are you married or have a significant other with you in the home? I'm married. Okay. And your husband, uh, I've got his date of birth, March 31st, 1978. Is that correct? Com correct. Okay, great. And what's his name? Brad. Brad. Great. Uh, my birthday's on the 16th of March. So that's kind of oh, nice. Nice. Um, <laughs> and is he a smoker or a non-smoker? A non. Great. Good. Keep that up. Um, okay. Yep. <laughs> um, all right. And then I saw that you refinanced your loan, right? With PHH. Well, or yeah, got, that's who took moved? over our loan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. And was that a 30 year mortgage? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then Shanna, about how much are you guys paying on that per month right now with escrow and everything? Uh, 678, I want to say. Oh, wow. You know more about yeah. it. You know more about your mortgage than I know about mine. <laughs> I, <laughs> I can ballpark it usually. Yeah. Well, okay. We got a fixed rate, but our taxes went up last year. So we had oh, to okay. adjust. Sure. Sure. That makes sense. Yeah. I know that's a, that's a real pain. You get the, you get the fix and you feel like you're doing good. And then no. <laughs> uh, escrow yep. can get you. Um, yep. Okay, great. And now are you or Brad, um, taking any prescription medications for anything like high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol? I take um, a high blood pressure. Okay, okay. And I is, don't spend more than $8 a month on meds. Okay, well, that's good to hear. Uh, so that's just one medication? Uh, well, uh, yeah, one uh, metformin. Those are my two. Okay. okay. All right. And um, have you or Brad been admitted to the hospital anytime in the past couple of years or any major medical concerns? Um, uh, yeah, me. <laughs> okay. Back in I, is it, April. Okay. Um, I had about a pancreatitis. Oh, okay. But um, I had everything checked out. All was good. It was, we're, they're not real sure why. So. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I'm sorry you had to go through that. That's awful. That's, yeah. that's some nasty stuff. 
how long were you in the hospital? Uh, just a couple of days, like two days. Okay. okay, good. All right. And, and then you said you are working outside the home. Um, uh -huh. are you, are you going to work? Or are you working from home? Uh, no, I work, I go to work every day. Okay, great. And what do you do? I'm a supervisor for, um, a, we, it's a company that we we work with, with adults with disabilities. Okay. That's great. I'm a supervisor over the pre-vocational department. You must be, um, a very patient, caring person. That's uh, <laughs> well, thanks. I try. <laughs> my mom, my mom was an RN, or she is an RN. She's a school nurse now, but um, she uh, for a little while did home health with um, a, a boy who mm -hmm. had cerebral palsy. She worked with him for six years, seven years. Oh yeah. And um, you know yep. the those families with uh, you know children with disabilities and adults with disabilities. It's something. It's something really foreign to a lot of people. Um, I have a lot yeah. of respect for people who who have the patience and, and uh, the heart to care for those kinds of people. Cause they do need our help, of course. Yeah, they just wanna be like everybody yeah. else. Yeah. Um, okay, and what is, uh, what is Brad's occupation? He works at a feed mill. Okay. All right. And do you and Brad have uh, children? Well, we don't have any children together. Okay, okay. But, with um, you in the home? I have two, no. Okay. Well, our my twenty year old just moved back till he gets another place, okay. but he doesn't. But I mean, he lives there, but he's venturing to get his own place. Great, great. And then his Brad's three kids live with their mother. Can we only have them part time? All right. Okay, and then Shana, um, were you or Brad or anyone in the household? Uh, affected or diagnosed by COVID-19? Nope. Great. I'm glad to hear that too. <laughs> okay. Me too. All right. And so Shana, uh, lastly, um, when we're talking about mortgage protection, which, which would it be you or Brad that you're most concerned about? Or is it a little bit of both? Like, should we look at getting coverage for on Brad for your benefit or coverage on you for Brad's benefit? Or is it sort of a, a mixture? I would say both okay. really. Cause I mean, yeah, I mean, you, well, you just never know. So that's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Well, this is enough information for me to get started. Now, it takes me between 60 and 90 minutes to work up the options, um, but then it only takes me about 15 minutes to go through the options with you and Brad. Um, mm -hmm. Now, typically, we'd prefer to come to your home and discuss the options in person. Um, but given the current environment, we're taking care of families by virtual meeting instead. So we'll be able to mm -hmm. see each other on the computer and I can share my screen with you to view your options and answer any questions. Now, okay. I have a ton of families that uh, are requesting the option this weekend, um, but let's find a 15 or 20 minute window when you and Brad can be in front of a computer together in the next 24 hours or so. Um, with, oh. okay. Well, actually, I'm out of town right now. I came up to visit my oh. mom, and so I'm like two hours away from okay. him. Um, and I won't be home until tomorrow, late afternoon. Okay. So, uh, well, that's all right. Why um, don't we look at Monday? What time do you guys usually get home from work? Um, we're both home. Well, he's supposed to be off work at 4.30. Sometimes that happens. Okay. <laughs> um, I would say um, definitely anytime after 5.30 or okay. so. I can do uh, I could do a 6 o'clock or should we look at like a 7 o'clock? Um, we can shoot for 6. Okay. Let's do 6. All right. And Brad and Shana. So Shana, I'll send you an email with the, um, with the calendar link information for the zoom sure, sure. Yep, i know how to yeah yeah use we zoom. do that all the time at work so i'm, I'm familiar okay, with it great oh, yeah. uh, what's a good email address for me to use oh it's shanna s-h-a-n-a l-e-a-n-n -N, 1974 okay. at gmail.com okay all right i'm going to read that back to you um uh 
think, 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 S H A N A L E A N as in Nancy, N as in Nancy, 1974 at gmail.com. Correct. Okay, great. And the 1457 is the best number to reach you? Yes. And is that a cell phone with texting? Yes. All right. Okay. So no to COVID, this is good. Okay, great. So I'll send you a text reminder. And again, that'll have uh, link instructions and stuff. So if you um, have any okay. questions or anything comes up between now and then, uh, just let me know so that we can reschedule. Like I said, I have a number of families that I'm responsible to, um, to help this weekend. And so I wanna make sure that I can get uh -huh. to any everyone. Um, so if your schedule changes, we need to reschedule, that's okay. Just let me know so that I can use that time to help another family, okay? Okay, okay. great. Uh, we'll All right, sounds good. Well, uh, watch for that email in the next couple minutes, and I look forward to speaking with you and Brad on Monday. Sure, Thanks, thank you Shannon. very much. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. You too. Bye. Hey, Richard. Yeah. Hi, Richard. Uh, this is Dustin Hensley. And I'm just getting back with you about a letter that you had sent in a while back regarding the mortgage protection coverage. That's the program that would pay off your home loan in the event of a death or a disability between you or Amanda. Yeah. Um, and uh, you and I spoke actually back in January about making this appointment and something came up. We had to reschedule. I apologize. This is my first chance to get back with you. Um, but uh, I wanted to see if, if uh, this week was going to be a good time to get that taken care of. Has anyone contacted you between then to, to get this taken care of for you? No, it ain't. This ain't a good week, man. Okay. I got get going on so yeah yeah i understand and richard is do you have something in place right now that if you were to pass away or become disabled uh, that amanda would be able to stay in the home and take care of the mortgage payments yep okay you do so you're not you're not concerned about anything at this time no great. sure ain't great well, i'm glad to hear that richard and so do you have some life insurance in place then that would take care of that for her Yep. Okay, good, good. Well, I have been speaking with a lot of people who have insurance in place, which is great to hear. Uh, but because I'm a broker who works with over 30 different insurance carriers, um, in most cases, when I put my client's information through our system, I'm able to find them better rates uh, or, or better coverage. So if I could save you some money or get you better coverage for Amanda, is that something that you'd be interested in seeing? Nope, I'm not interested right now, man. Okay, I understand, Richard. Well, hey, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll talk with you soon. Yep. Bye-bye. You too. Bye. Ed. Oh, hey, Greg. Sorry about that. Hey, Greg, this is Dustin Hensley. I'm just getting back with you about the... Uh, the mortgage protection program, the letter that you sent in to our office. Um, and this was the program that would pay off your home loan in the event of a death or disability. We already have it. Okay. And is that... Oh. Hey, Greg. Sorry about that. We got disconnected. I'm, I'm, not, I'm busy right now. Okay. Would there be a better time that I could call back? Yes. Hey, Nancy, this is Dustin Hensley, and I'm just getting back with you about a letter that you sent in to our office uh, regarding the mortgage protection coverage. That's the program that would pay off your home loan in the event of a death or disability. Do you remember that? I know it's been a while back. And who are you through? I'm calling from Symmetry Financial Group. We handle mortgage protection in Adams County. Okay. Um, I did get a policy. Okay. And uh, in case not, it would pay it off. Okay. Well, that's great to hear, Nancy. See, I'm I'm glad someone was able to take care of you. And uh, when did that policy? When did you get that policy in place? 
Do you remember? Um, a few months ago. Okay. okay. Well, uh, you know, I have been speaking with a lot of people who have something in place lately, which is really good to hear. Um, however, because I'm a broker who works with over 30 different carriers, when I put my client's information through our system, in most cases, I'm able to find them better coverage at a better rate, especially with all of the COVID situation and everything that's happened. There have been a lot of changes in the insurance industry this year. And so if it's been more than six months, I'd probably recommend that you at least take 15 minutes and review your coverage options and make sure that where what you have is, is, uh, is doing enough for you. Um, and with that said, it only takes about 10 seconds of questions to verify the information so I can get you these options. Now, I've got... Um, I'm, not, I'm not interested in changing anything. Okay. All right. Well, no problem, Nancy. Thanks so much for your time. You have a great day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah. Hi, Corey. This is Dustin Hensley. I'm just getting back with you about a letter that you sent in to our office uh, regarding the mortgage protection coverage. That's the program that would pay off your home loan in the event of a death or disability. And this would have been back around the time that you closed on the house. Uh, I showed December 2018. Is that is that right? Uh, sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, around that time, we sent you this letter that described a program that could pay off the hundred thousand dollar loan, um, or provide monthly payments if you can't work due to an in illness or injury, and uh, it shows that in our in our records that nobody has helped you with this yet. Um, so my name's Dustin and I'm with the Mortgage Protection Office. I just need to verify some of your information so that we can work up a few options for you. Uh, I've got your date of birth is April 16th, 1977. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, great. And you said you were 6'1", about 260 pounds. Is that still correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you said at the time that you're a non-smoker. Have you started smoking since then? Nope. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, all right. And then, Corey, were you uh, diagnosed or affected by COVID-19 this year? Nope. Okay, good. Let's keep it that way. And um, all right. And then the home loan... I realized that it started at a hundred thousand. It's probably come down a bit since then. Do you know about how much is left? Uh, it's probably right around that number. Okay. Okay. And you said, actually, it looks like we spoke back in February. You told me that you're paying about a thousand dollars a month for that. Is yeah. that still true? Okay. Yeah. And are you making any extra payments on that or right now just the minimum? Just a minute. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. And you you told me too that you've got a couple kids in the house, sixteen and fourteen. They probably had some birthdays, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Same. They're same age. Okay. Alrighty. And are you still you still working as a truck driver? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, so uh, Corey, I realize that it's been a long time since you sent this in, and I apologize that it's taken us so long to get back with you, but when you sent it in, what was your main concern in terms of putting this in place? You, you were looking to take care of your children? Yeah. Okay, and uh, do you have a spouse or significant other with you in the home? No. Okay. No. Okay. All righty. So, uh, so Corey, this is all the information that I need to get started. Now, we do have a number of families requesting information this weekend. Um, and it takes me about 60 to 90 minutes to get your options put together, but it only takes about 15 minutes to walk through with you and see what kind of coverage you qualify for. Um, now, and typically we would prefer to come to your home and discuss these options in person. 
Um, but given the current environment, we are taking care of families by virtual meeting instead. So we'll be able to see each other on the computer or on your smartphone. And I can share my screen with you to view your options and answer any questions. Now, I have a ton of families requesting my time this weekend, uh, but let's try to find a 15 or 20 minute window when you can be in front of a computer in the next 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours. Um, is uh, this afternoon good for you or should we look at doing something on Monday? Uh, maybe try Monday. Okay. Okay. And what does your schedule look like on Monday? Are we thinking, uh, are you thinking afternoon or evening? Afternoon. Okay. All right. So I have a four o'clock available or we could go as late as seven o'clock. Uh, maybe seven. Seven. Okay. All right. And Corey, I'll send you an email with the virtual conference information. What's a good email address for you? Uh, no. uh, can you just send me a text? I can, sure. At that, that same number that you got in return. Okay. All right, text reminder, no COVID, mortgage protection. Okay. All right. Yep. I can do that for you. Um, so, so we're looking at Monday and what time did we say? Seven o'clock. Okay, great. That's what I put down too. Sometimes my left hand doesn't know what my right hand's doing. So I just double check. Um, all right. And Okay, and, and do you see any time, any reason right now, Corey, why you wouldn't be able to make the appointment at seven? No. Okay, okay, great. Um, so just a couple of things that you'll need to have out during our appointment. Uh, this will help speed up the whole process. Uh, just your doctor's name and, uh, and phone number. I can usually Google the address. Um, and I'll need to verify the name and dosage of any medications that you're taking. Are you taking any prescription medications right now? No, and I haven't seen a doctor in a couple of years. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all right. Um, I'm the same way. I've, if, you know, if I'm really sick, I'll go to a ready med or something, but I don't even have a right. primary care. Okay. And, um, and then just a photo ID for you. Driver's license would be fine. Um, and... So just five minutes before our meeting, you click on the link and you're on your computer, your smartphone, it'll open the video conference platform. You shouldn't have to download anything, but just in case, give it a minute or two. Uh, and as a reminder, I've got a lot of homeowners to help this weekend, and I want to make sure that I can get to everyone. Um, give me a few minutes of wiggle room in case I'm running behind. Does that sound good? Okay. You're fine. All right. Well, thanks, yep. Corey. It was nice talking with you, and I look forward to speaking with you on Monday at seven. Okay, bye -bye. All right, thanks, sir. Diana? Yes. Hey, Diana, this is Dustin Hensley. I'm just getting back with you about a letter that you sent into our office a while back regarding the mortgage protection coverage. That's the program that would pay off your home loan in the event of a death or a disability. Do you remember that? I I've got I've got that taken care of. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, Diana, that's the reason I'm calling. Um, when you when you filled this out, and that's fine. I just yes. Hey, David. This is Dustin Hensley. I'm just getting back with you about a letter that you sent in to our office regarding the mortgage protection coverage. That's the program that would pay off your home loan. Uh, oh, in the event I did that. Well, Are you got it taken care of already? Yes. Okay, great. Well, David, I'm glad mm -hmm. to hear that. I've been speaking with a lot of people who have coverage already. And the, uh, the good news is I'm a broker who works with over 30 different carriers. And when I, I find that when I put my client's information through our system, 
in most cases, I'm able to find you better coverage or at least the same coverage at a better rate. And so if I could save no, you money or get you better coverage, is that something that you would like to see? I'm satisfied. It's been over a year. Okay. Okay. Well, good. All righty. I'm glad you got something, Bye. David. You have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Bye. Hello. Hi, Danny. Hey, Danny, can you hear me okay? Oh. Hi, Danny. My name is Dustin Hensley. I'm just getting back with you about the letter that you sent in to our office regarding the mortgage protection coverage. That's the program that would pay off your home loan in the event. I know of what it is, but how much does it cost? I didn't get nothing like that. Oh, okay. No, I, uh, can, you send, can you send me some information on it? I absolutely I work can. Right, I, don't, I don't work right now. I'm not, I don't work right now, buddy. Oh, okay. Uh, well, Danny, I, work, I work every Saturday and Sunday. I'm off Monday through Friday. So if you want to call me Monday through Friday, it'll be different. I'll give you a call on Monday then. But send me some paperwork on it, okay? I sure will. You have a great day. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. Hi, Nicholas. My name is Dustin Hensley. I'm just getting back yeah. with you about a letter that you sent in to our office regarding mortgage protection coverage. That's the program that would pay off your home loan. That's okay. We got disconnected. Call him right back. I'm just getting back with you about your home loan for $44,000. Uh, and um, it looks like we sent you a letter in the mail that talked about a program that would pay off your home loan in the event of a death or disability. And you called a number. I'm sorry, who are you with? Uh, I'm with Symmetry Financial Group. My name is Dustin Hensley. We handle mortgage protection in Marion County. And so it looks like you called the number and answered a couple questions so that we could get back with you about your mortgage protection options. I have just a couple mm -hmm. seconds of questions to verify your information so that we can get these options out to you. Um, so Vida, I've got you. Um, I, I don't think that I reached out to anybody. I got a letter that um, was sent uh, to my mother and it was like, she thought it was super important that something was ending on a warranty or something. And I talked mm. to somebody about it and it was actually, we'd never had a warranty with you. So it was like very like sketchy. I don't know why you would send letters out like that saying, Oh, this is going to end right now. And it had we've never had a warranty with you. So, so this isn't it, about a warranty. Her, it was not. Maybe that was something else. And, and uh, I apologize if there's been some confusion, but this wasn't about a warranty. This is mortgage okay. protection coverage. So it's life insurance that's designed specifically to protect the mortgage. It also has the ability to okay, return. No, thank you. Okay, so Vida, do you have something in place that's right true. now that would take care of the home if anything were to happen to you, like a, you know an illness or a sudden passing away of yourself or a spouse? No, I'm going to donate it all to charity. Thank you very much. All bye. Right, bye, -bye. <laughs> um, yeah. But the, uh, this would be a program to make sure that your family can remain in your home um, and that mm -hmm. no one would ever be displaced due to uh, sudden passing away or someone mm -hmm. becoming disabled or ill and, and not able to make their mortgage payments. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's the reason I'm calling, Vi. Uh, I'm from the Mortgage mm -hmm. Protection Office. My name is Dustin Hensley. And I just need to verify your information so that we can get these options out to you. Now, okay. I've got you at 618 West Southport Road there in Indianapolis. Yeah. Okay, great. 
and your home loan when you closed on it was 139,000. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And was that a 30 year mortgage? Yeah. Okay, excellent. And Vi, about how much are you paying per month on the mortgage? Um, I'm not sure the exact number. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember, but it's about a little bit over 900. Okay, okay, great. And that's fine. We can we can round we can round the numbers. That won't be a big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And then Vi, you said actually, uh, what is your date of birth? April the third, nineteen fifty six. Okay. And are you a smoker or a non smoker? Non smoker. All right. Five stars for that good decision. Okay, and have you or anyone in your family been diagnosed with COVID-19? No. Wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Okay, and do you have any children grown or living with you in the home? Yeah, I have three children. Okay. I mean, I mean, I have, I have four children. Okay. Um, is that three in the house and, and one moved out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Three at home, one grown. Okay. And do you currently have any life insurance? I do have life insurance. Okay. And do you know how much coverage you get there and what you're paying on it each month? Um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not really sure about that. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna have no. To later. Yeah, no, that's all right. Okay. Um, and are you currently taking any prescription medications like for high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol? No. Okay. Any major medical concerns or time spent in the hospital in the past couple of years? No. No. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. And Thank Vi, you. are you married or have a significant other living with you in the home? Yes. Okay, you're married? Yeah. All right. And what is your husband's name? Um, it's actually okay, sir. Um, doctor, something. Okay, can I call you back later? I am in the middle of work right now, and I really have to go. Oh, of course. I'm yes, so I'm so sorry. Uh, Vi, when would be a good time for me to call you back? Um. So what about tomorrow evening? Tomorrow evening. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I can do that. Is my number saved in your phone? Uh, no, but I will save. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Just because I know it's a new number. If you could make a note in there that uh, my name is Dustin and I'm calling about the home loan. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You too. Turkesha. Three, two, three, seven. Hello. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Dustin Hensley. Hello. Hi, Turkesha. Who is this? This is Dustin Hensley. Uh, I'm uh, just getting back with you about a letter that we sent to your home regarding your mortgage with Fairway for 169000 And the letter talked about a program that would pay off your loan in the event of a death or a disability. And it looks like you or someone in your household 
called the number and answered a couple questions requesting information about how the program works and, and whether you would qualify. So that's the reason I'm calling. I have just a couple questions for you so that I can get these options out to you. I'm not interested and I don't really appreciate solicitation calls. You don't even know how to say my name. So can you oh, make I, sure you take me off your list? I, absolutely, ma'am, and I apologize. Thank you. And you have a wonderful day. And Bye -bye. just so you know, I am... Oh, that's fine. Me, this is Dustin Hensley. I'm just getting back with you about a form that you filled out online. Um, yes. Regarding the mortgage protection coverage. Yes. Okay. I've already got. I've already got it. You got it. So somebody. Yeah, somebody took it. care of you. Yes. Someone has. Yes. Okay. Great. Well, Tammy, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, when was the last time that you spoke with your your advocate? Um, just last month. Oh, just last month. Wonderful. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And for my notes, uh, what kind of coverage did you go with? Um, I'm with Amico, Amica. Americo? Um, okay, yeah. In Texas, it's in Texas. In Texas, okay. The name of it is, uh, uh, well, I'm in the car right now, and I have all my information in the house. Okay, no, I understand. But, uh, Absolutely. Yeah. And was that a term policy? Yes. Okay. And do you know the benefit amount offhand? I don't. Okay. But was it a full mortgage payoff or, or just it's a, a partial? It's a full mortgage payoff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. That's what you mean. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how much are you paying per month? Um, $87 a month. Okay. Great. All right. Well, Tammy, I'll go ahead and update our records here. You have a great rest of your day. Okay. You as well. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.